Good morning everyone. This is Jaswinder Kaur and I am here to teach contour integration, the topic from the complex analysis. Let's start with the assignment 9. Show that the integration from 0 to infinity on x to the power 6 over x to the power 4 plus a to the power 4 whole square dx is equal to 3 root 2 pi over 16a where a is strictly positive. Now you have to show this integration to be equal to this right hand side. Now to solve this integration you have to apply the four steps. First you have to know how to calculate the poles and then you have to calculate the residue at these poles which lies inside the contour and third step is to sum up all the residues at these poles and then the fourth step is you have to use the Cauchy residue theorem to show this integration to be equal to this right hand side what is given over here so let's start with the solution uh, first of all we have to integrate we have to choose f of z function to be equal to z to the power 6 over z to the power 4 plus a to the power 4 whole squared you just have to first replace this x with z. So take this function in the form of z, the complex variable, along the contour. Now the contour is given over here, this blue color to one, this line which is drawn. This is your contour. And this contour consists of this real axis from negative r to positive r. And it is also followed by a semicircle tau in the upper half plane from this positive r to the negative r. Right? So this is your blue colored, this is your contour. Let's find out the poles which lie inside this contour. How to find the poles of Fz? The first step. We all know that. To find the poles of this function fz, we have to take this denominator is equal to 0. So let's put this denominator z to the power 4 plus a to the power 4 is equal to 0. From here, just get the value of z. So I got z to the power 4 is equal to negative a to the power 4, which can further be written as a to the power 4 and this negative 1 can be written as e raised to the power 2k plus 1 pi iota. This you have to remember always where k is belonging to the integers, right? This implies this z is equal to e raised to the power this a and e raised to the power 2k plus 1 pi iota over 4. And this k will start from 0 to take 1, take 2 and 3. That's it. Why I have taken these four values? Because I am having the power here 4. So you have to take k from 0 to 3. Right? Clear? Okay, now one by one put this value of k over here. You will get your four poles. So fz has simple poles at the points. z is equal to Put a value of k 0 first, you will get a e raised to the power pi iota by 4. And then put k equal to 1, you will get a e raised to the power 3 pi iota by 4. And then you will get a e raised to the power 5 pi iota over 4. And then a e raised to the power 7 pi iota over 4. Now you get four poles, right? Now, which of the poles lie inside the circle? There is a definition. I have also described this in the last video that out of these two m poles, uh, if you see the number of poles to be 2m, so from these two m poles, first two poles lie inside the C, right? First two poles means this first and second one lie inside the sea half of the poles and other half of the poles lies outside or it does not lie inside the contour okay so if your 2n 
is equal to the number of poles are 4. That means n is equal to 2. That means first two poles will lie inside the contour. Now my second step is I have to calculate the residue at these two poles only, right? Okay, uh, for the ease, let alpha denotes any one of these poles. So then you just put uh, z equal to alpha because z is your pole. So you just denote any of these poles to be alpha. You have to just replace z with alpha in star. So this is alpha the power 4 is equal to minus a the power 4. Okay, so just replace this z with alpha. And then calculate the residue at this alpha. What is the formula for the residue? As we all know that the residue of fz at alpha is limit z tends to alpha d by dz of z minus alpha whole square f of z. This is the formula for calculating the residue. So this is equal to limit z tends to alpha d by dz of, okay, this is z minus alpha, the whole square. Write down your function fz, that is z the power 6 over z the power 4 plus a the power 4 whole square. Okay, good. Next, limit z tends to alpha d by dz. What can we do? We just make this as, we just put this a the power 4 as, what can we put? This a the power 4 as negative alpha the power 4. Can I put from here? Yes. So this is z minus alpha the power square into z the power 6, z the power 4 minus alpha the power 4. I can write here that a the power 4 is negative alpha the power 4. So further limit z tends to alpha d by dz. Okay, now make the fractions. z minus alpha square z the power 6. So this can be written as this is a formula that is a square minus b square is a minus b into a plus b. So if you look at this as z the power 4 as z square the square minus alpha square the square, then you will get a minus b, a plus b, right? So this is whole square like this. Next, limit z tends to alpha. Again, further, I can split this z square minus alpha square as z minus alpha and z plus alpha, z square plus alpha square, this whole square. Very much clear. Now cancel the z minus alpha with this z minus alpha, right? And this is because it is square. So whole square will be cancelled out. So I'm lifting up with limit z tends to alpha d by dz of z to the power 6 over z plus alpha into z square plus alpha square. Okay, let me write here only square. All right, now it is very pretty difficult to derivate this whole function with respect to z. So let me suppose that this whole function to be as phi of z. Let me take phi of z to be equal to this function so that it may get easier to derivate. So I let this phi z to be this whole function and now I'm taking log on both the sides. So the derivation becomes very easy. Log of phi z is equal to log of z the power 6 
negative log of z plus alpha whole square minus log of z square plus alpha square whole square. Now this is 6 log z minus 2 log z plus alpha minus 2 log z square plus alpha square. Now differentiate this with respect to z. Differentiating with respect to z, we get we get as phi dash z over phi z. Okay, because derivative for log of phi z is 1 over phi z into derivative of this. So this is equal to 6 over z minus this will be 2 over derivative of this log of z plus alpha is 1 over z plus alpha minus 2 over this z square plus alpha square into the derivative of this denominator that is twice z. So phi dash z is finally coming out to be phi z. Just take this denominator to the other side and this is 6 by z minus 2 over z plus alpha minus 4 z over z square plus alpha square. Alright, very fine. Okay, now d by dz of this function will be equal to phi dash z that is whole this function. Okay, now just substitute this in 1, right? This I have marked as 1. So I'm just substituting this. So to calculate residue of fz at alpha, just substitute this derivative and take the limit z tends to alpha. And you will be getting this. Now taking limit z tends to alpha. So this is equal to put z equal to alpha now all over here. So this is alpha to the power 6. Here this is alpha plus alpha which is 2 alpha whole square and this is alpha square plus alpha square that is 2 alpha square whole square now it is very easy this is 6 over alpha minus this is 2 over alpha plus alpha is 2 alpha minus this is 4 alpha over this is 2 alpha square pretty easy okay good so this is alpha to the power 6 over 16 alpha square this is 6 over alpha minus 1 over alpha minus 2 over alpha. And finally, if you calculate, you will get 3 over 16 into 1 over alpha. Very well. Now I have to calculate the sum of the residues of Fz. Okay, so I have this 3 over 16. Now the residue, 1 over alpha. First one First residue is for this alpha, take the value, the first pole. What is the first pole? We have, just check this one, this. A e raised to the power pi iota by 4, all right? And then the second pole is this, just add these two. So instead of alpha, because I have denoted one of the poles to be as alpha. So whatever pole I'm having for z equal to, I will just take that both the poles for this alpha. So this is first pole is a e raised to the power pi iota by 4 and then plus 1 over a e raised to the power 3 pi iota by 4. Very fine. Now taking this a common from the denominator, I will be getting 3 over 16 a and just take this e to the numerator. So this is e raised to the power minus pi iota by 4 plus e raised to the power minus 3 pi iota by 4. Fine. Okay, next. This is 3 over 16 a <coughs> and this is e raised to the power, just <coughs> write the first term as it is, pi iota by 4. And then, because I'm here, the positive sign I'm here, having the positive sign, 
and this is e raised to the power minus 3 pi iota by 4. I know that e raised to the power pi iota is negative 1. So I'm going to use this over here. So can I write this positive sign? I change this sign to the negative 1 and multiply this e raised to the power pi iota with this e raised to the power minus 3 pi iota by 4. Is it okay? Yes, of course. I can do this. e raised to the power pi iota into e raised to the power minus 3 pi iota by 4. Why I have done this? Because I know that if I add these two, I will be getting pi iota by 4. Okay. So this is equal to 3 over 16a. This is e raised to the power minus pi iota by 4 negative sign then e raised to the power pi iota by 4. The powers are same. Very good. Just there is a difference in the sign. So this is equal to negative 3 over 16a just taking negative outside the common and you will be getting e raised to the power pi iota by 4 minus e raised to the power minus pi iota by 4. I know that this is equal to this is 2 iota sine of pi by 4. Yes. And this is minus 3 over 16a. What is sine pi by 4? It is 1 by root 2. So this is 1 by root 2. And final will be I'm getting negative of 3 root 2 iota over 16a. Right? So this is how I calculated the sum. Now the last step is I have to use the Cauchy residue theorem. Right? And I know that the Cauchy residue theorem is the integration over the whole contour on the function fz and this is equal to 2 pi iota times the sum of the residues. So what is the sum of the residues? It is negative 3 root 2 iota over 16a. So this is equal to 3 root 2 pi over 8a. Mark this as 3. Now, because it is a contour C, I have to write this contour in two parts. One is for the real axis and one is for the tau, the semicircle, right? For the real axis, I will replace this z with x. And for tau, the contour in the upper half plane, just the function must remain in z. So it is very well known that this integration on contour C is equal to, it is split into two parts. One is along the real axis. For that, I have to change this whole function in x because on the real axis, only the variable x is there. Plus the contour on the upper half plane, that is a semicircle tau. And for there, I have to use the variable z, the complex variable. Okay, now because this contour is just now we have calculated this contour to be equal to this integration on this contour C to be equal to 3 root 2 pi over 8a. So just put this value over here and you will get these two terms is equal to 3 root 2 pi over 8a. Verify. Okay, now I have to calculate this part first. And letting r tends to infinity, there is a formula for this. And this part is always comes out to be 0. Okay. So what is the formula? I have to put the limit r tends to infinity on this integration for tau. And this is equal to the formula is iota times pi minus the second angle is always 0 into limit z tends to infinity z into f of z which is z the power 6 into z so i just write z the power 7 completely so this is z the power 7 over z the power 4 plus a the power 4 whole square okay so this it is z into f of z so z the power 6 multiplied with z is z the power 7 now, because here in the denominator, I'm having the power 8. So, it is 
very much understood limit z tends to infinity here you will get 1 by z over z d oh sorry 1 plus a d power 4 because i have taken z d power 8 to be common so this is a d power 4 over z d power 4 whole square and this is of course if you limit z tends to infinity it is zero now putting this value zero over here i will be getting this integration and also I have to let r tends to infinity in this equation. So letting r tends to infinity in 4, I have marked this equation as 4. So this integration minus negative r will change to negative infinity and positive r will change to positive infinity. And there is your function in x. And this is equal to this. Now because it is an even function, so can I write it as twice integration from 0 to infinity? Yes. Thank you. So this is x to the power 6, x to the power 4 plus a to the power 4 whole square dx is equal to 3 root 2 pi over 8a. as it is the even function. So finally it is 0 to infinity x to the power 6 x to the power 4 plus a to the power 4 whole square dx. So this taking this to, to the other side this is 3 root 2 pi over 16a. This is what is required to prove. Hence the result. So thank you so much for watching this video. And I will be uh, taking up the next examples in the next video. Till then, bye. Take a very good care. Goodbye. Thank you.